stop. Daisy is literally right over there taking a nap. We literally lost whiskers in this episode, not him too. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel if you guys are new here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome in. My name is Ali, and I hope you all stay for a while. We are back with the Sims in Bloom Legacy, which I'm so excited for. So let's just get into the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome in. My name is Ali, and I hope you all stay for a while. We are back with the Sims in Bloom Legacy with our wonderful Penelope. We went to bed way too late, but let's get right into the video. So Penelope did just like fall asleep around almost 5 a.m. She was trying to finish up her little side job, but she unfortunately wasn't able to finish. Wait, what? Oh, they also started winter break, um, but we just got this pop up. It appears as though someone is dying. Whiskers has reached the end of her lives and will now and now will pass on to a better place. Oh my gosh. You have to be kidding me. I just Oh, why is Jasper up witnessing this? I literally just started playing. Oh my gosh, everyone's getting up. Um, we need to replace this fridge. Oh my gosh, this is literally their childhood pet. Do I have to report a death through the phone? I thought Grim Reaper would have just come, but I guess maybe I actually do have to report this, but I literally can't believe this. And Penelope isn't even up. She's literally sleeping through her pet passing away. Oh, here's the guy who's going to examine it. Don't mind us, we're just, you know, mourning our pet now. Oh my gosh, this is taking so long, you guys. Can you, like, can you do something? Oh, he did something. Oh my gosh. Whiskers Bloom. Guys, what the heck? I'm gonna put it in Penelope's inventory. I feel like we had another pet. Like, I thought this was a pet over here. Man just left and then teleported back. Oh, everyone is so sad this morning. And where's Clover? Clover is, like, wandering. But Penelope did just wake up. So I feel like her mom is going to definitely come down. Why are they missing legs? I feel like the mom is going to come down and kind of give her the news, you know, about Clo about Whiskers and kind of just tell her that, like, I don't even know how you, like, tell your kid that their pet just passed away. Like, her childhood pet just passed. But the mom is obviously going to have to break the news since she was still asleep when it happened. Oh, she's going in with a hug. She's, you know, saying like, Penelope, like, it's okay. You're going to be okay. I understand, like, how traumatic this is going to be. But, like, you can always, like, you know, do some meditation and do, like, yoga to let out any of your feelings. And I definitely feel like, oh my gosh, what is this hug? I definitely feel like Penelope is going to be like, Mom, I really did not need to hear that. Like, I don't need to do meditation to get over this. Oh, she's already like... But this is definitely really bad for Penelope. Why is everything just broken in our house? I am going to have her apply some facial cleanser, wash her face, get some brush teeth, conceal her acne, and she does actually have school today. Hopefully you're making something for everyone. Oh, she's making little oatmeal cookies. That's cute, but like we need a food for everyone. Oh, I definitely don't think Penelope is getting all of her food. Yeah, okay. So we're going to join Penelope to school today. I definitely don't think she's going to like be feeling this, but she obviously has to go. Okay, she just got to school. Why is... Why are we all dressed like this? What the heck? 
but I did actually go in and give Candace a makeover. She's the only one I actually decided to give a makeover to just because I feel like Candace and her are really good friends at this point. So I wanted to give her kind of a more of my style makeover. And I feel like she came out super cute looking. I definitely think we'll be giving some more makeovers to some more of her friends along the way. She also did not get to eat before she left, so I'm just going to have her get some food really quickly. And she's so, like, sad today. I feel so awful. Like, I heckin' loved Whiskers so much. And I think with this kind of being, like, her her pet, like, her real pet, it's probably going to be a lot harder for her, but... We do have that challenge to always have two animals in our household at all times. So I do think we will have to get another cat pretty soon. But I don't want to rush into it per se. Just because, like, I feel bad rushing into it. She also has to study for her exam before she goes to class. So she's going to do that. Why won't you eat your food? Oh, there she goes. Here's her food. Why are they all in these cute outfits? Like, I don't think they've ever had these outfits on. Is this Candace? No, that's Bridget. Okay, she does have to start getting up to her classroom. She doesn't want to be late. Come on. I don't know how I feel about these outfits, you guys. Like, these, um, I guess they're dress codes. Like, I can't think of the word, but, like, I know what, it's, like, at the top of my tongue what you wear or uniforms. Like, I guess they're kind of her, their uniforms. Right, she just made it to class. And it looks like Candace is kind of having a bad day too. She's all frowny. So we might want to chat with Candace and see how she's doing. Troy over here is like seriously daydreaming. Like he's like, la di la di da, like looking into the sky. Like I have no care in the world. Okay, her period just ended, so I do want her to chat with Candace, kind of like talk about her feelings, you know? Candace knew Whiskers, so like she's gonna be like, you know, like Whiskers passed away this morning and I'm super sad about it. And kind of check in on her, you know, like ask her how she's doing. Oh, now she's happy. Why do you feel? Oh, feeling a letter, little better from talking about it. Also, the close connection with Candace is definitely helping her. So that's so nice that she gets to feel like better about herself. Like when she talks to her, but, you know, we want to check in on her, ask her how her day is. And her needs are pretty good. So, oh, career day. Travel to auditorium. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I've never been to a career day in The Sims. Okay, so ask for details about careers from visiting professionals. Oh my gosh. Um, ask details for a career. Oh my gosh, there's so many Sims here. I feel like this is more than even in our school. But we're going to go around kind of asking for details none like really sticks out to me like there's some people who aren't even here we only have three people so or three sims to ask oh and is that troy why does troy look like brett for a second in the back okay where oh my gosh everyone is just traveling in swarms of people and we're literally like not a part of this Discuss my future with a teacher? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Agnes is here. Are there any teachers? There's only visiting professionals that I can see. Um, where are the teachers? I want to discuss my future with a teacher. Where are the teachers? I think Agnes is a teacher, but I don't... Oh, discuss future. Go, go, go. No, discuss your future with Agnes. Just make sure she doesn't hit you. He's like, you know, like, I'm really into computers and stuff like that. She thinks she wants to go into something with computers. And Agnes is giving the space of, what did you say? Electronics? 
Oh my gosh, stop. She went into the bathroom to cry, you guys. This girl is not having a good day at all. And, you know, I completely understand. And maybe she should have taken today off. So maybe when she gets home from her activity club, she'll kind of ask her mom, like, you know, like, today was definitely super hard for me. Maybe tomorrow I could take a mental health day just to, you know, feel a little better. So we'll see what her mom says about that. I don't know you could cry in the toilet, to be honest, but like, that is so sad. School is almost over. I just want her to kind of chat with a few more people, you know. We prom is coming. We don't need a prom every weekend. Okay, it is the end of the school day. It's gonna see if she wanted to do some schoolwork, but honestly, I feel like she wouldn't want to do it. I feel like she'd want to cheat her grade up slash hack it. So I'm not even gonna bother for her to do homework. I'm gonna probably get her to cheat. Hack, I mean, we're not cheating, but hack our grade later. The sworn of people are now leaving. Okay, so Daisy just got home from work. She's so exhausted. She's sleeping on the bench outside, but I'm gonna send her to sleep in her actual bed. It is coming up to her birthday, which is a little scary, you guys. Um, she has two days left until aging up, but we still have a few more days with Penelope. I think it's like almost like a little over a week so i want to try to wait it out as long as i can to age daisy up honestly because i want like i don't want such a huge age gap with all of our kids like obviously jasper we understand jasper you know you were late one kiddo like you came pretty late to this family oh and she's back okay i am changing her into a different outfit because I, I don't love that outfit she had on. And let's see, where is Clover? Clover's eating her dinner. Okay. So why don't we just, you know, pick up, give a little huggings. Clover. And we can do a little refill of their food. And I think when she's done hanging out with Clover, she does need to vacuum her basement, like, desperately basement is looking pretty gross so i am gonna stick the vacuum down here for her so she'll vacuum around when she's done with clover and i'll get her to start working more on i think i'm gonna get her just to play some video games and work on her video game skill just because you know she might not be in the best mood to work on programming at the moment look how cute this is Clover's like, which way do I go? Where do I get it? <laughs> oh, his brother. He's like, hey, Logan, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Maybe getting dinner tonight could cheer you up a bit. I think this could be kind of fun and we'll go with our family. Oh my gosh, Megan, I completely forgot about her. She's like an adult now, I think, or a teen. We'll bring Megan along because we don't even know her. Oh my gosh, why? why is penelope in her wedding dress oh my or not penelope why is daisy in her wedding dress like she is full-on in her wedding dress he is full-on in his tux like cute you guys wanted to get dressed up but oh my gosh this is megan how old is she she's a teen oh my gosh wait i think she's around the same age as penelope so, you know, we can, we can get to know her and then we'll request a table and we never introduced ourselves to, oh, it seems like they get along. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes. Oh, she is a kleptomaniac. Oh gosh. Oh, and I think she's a creepy sim. Oh gosh. We should have definitely have taken her in. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I love the wedding dress, Daisy. Like, you look amazing. But we... Y'all are... You guys sitting outside? Why are you guys sitting outside? Are you all trying to freeze to death? Like, I'm pretty sure you guys are about to freeze to death. 
Okay, but we want to get to know Megan a bit more. So, you know, we'll like share some lifestyle tips, share some techie tips. Also, I'm not taking the risk and I'm changing everyone into a cold weather outfit just because this freaks me out that they're literally sitting outside at a restaurant in winter while it looks like it's raining or snowing. So they're all going to their cold weather outfits. Like, I love the enthusiasm to get dressed up, but maybe, just maybe not. Not when it's snowing outside and it's winter. <laughs> okay, I feel better that they're all in their normal outfits, not her wedding dress. Why don't we get to know, like, Megan a bit more, discuss some interests. I feel like Penelope will definitely bring up, you know, like, oh, I'm kind of popular at my school. Like, how are you at your school? <laughs> And then we're going to get to know Landon, which would be our uncle. Because I don't think we ever really got to meet him. We met him when we were a kid, but that was kind of it. Oh my gosh, is she farting or is she just smelly? Logan Lockhart's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get his affairs in order. No, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Are they getting along? I feel like they're getting along, Megan and Penelope. Also, y'all said, which I think makes so much sense, that Penelope is kind of our bi queen. So I kind of want to add that in as her preference because our girl has really shown interest in both female and male. So I feel like she is really interested in both. So I feel like that makes the most sense that she's kind of bisexual. I feel like she is at a good age of figuring stuff out. Um, I'm going to do a manual selection. I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to have her as not applicable slash out. I don't think she has really told many people about it, but she does now have bisexual and Biromantic, which is Penelope can be romantically attracted to multiple genders. Allosexual, Penelope can experience sexual attraction. And Alloromantic, which is Penelope can experience romantic attraction. Oh, why are you mortified? Oh, you had a mood swing? Oh my gosh, we've been here for so long and I just realized no one ordered for the table. So we're definitely going to order for our table. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so expensive. We're going to get water for everyone. Actually, you don't even need water, you guys. You guys are fine. Um, a shrimp cocktail I'm going to give to Logan and Daisy. A cooterie will go to Lily and Penelope. A savory bacon will go to Jasper. And foam nesting will go to these two. Okay, this is already 65 simoleons. I like completely was just staring and I'm like, oh, we we have to pay. We have to order for our food even though we were invited out. I'm gonna brighten her day. We're gonna ask her, you know, like, what high school do you go to? And like, who do you live with now? Because I believe my grandparents are, you know, kind of passed away. Who does she live with now? She lives in Willow Creek now, okay. Oh my gosh, Penelope is the one who's ordering for the whole table. Who are you going to tell? You're going to the bathroom? Girl, did you order for our table? We understand you're hungry. We're trying to get our food. Oh my god. Our food is here. Penelope is passed out on the ground. But look how good our meal looks. Oh, these are like experimental dishes. Some of them, that is really cool. And poor Jasper, they couldn't get a big enough table for everyone. And he's literally sitting here by himself as if he's like at a kid's table. That... <laughs> poor Jasper. Okay, it's like 1 a.m. I definitely feel like they should probably get going, but I feel like they had a really good time out with the whole family everyone's getting you know kind of older 
So I feel like they definitely had a good time doing this. I'm glad we finally met Megan also. Like, I can't believe it took us this long and I kind of forgot about her. But it was nice seeing you guys. We will catch up soon. Oh my gosh, Penelope. This walk is just so unnecessary. <laughs> okay, Penelope just got home. I don't think she got a chance to vacuum around her basement, which I definitely think she needs to do because it's disgusting here. But since it's like 2 a.m., I am going to have her sleep once she's done. And I think her mom is definitely going to be like, yeah, like Penelope, we were out pretty late. And I know you've been struggling a lot with whiskers. So if you want to stay home tomorrow, you totally can. Oh my gosh, look at Logan up here, like using daisy's little machine and having fun All right, lily is putting herself to bed and jasper you do need to go to bed as well and daisy is already asleep and he needs to go to bed as well okay so everyone should be heading to sleep now at three in the morning we're doing a great job but i will see you guys when they all wake up Okay, so Penelope is up, and I am going to have her call her school, and she's going to take a, a sick day, just so, you know, she can try to feel better about everything, and work on just some more skills, and maybe convince her parents about, oh, where is she going? And maybe convince her parents about getting another cat eventually, just kind of bringing it up into conversation. You know, she's doing a little, like, cough, cough, I'm sick today. Sorry to hear that. Feel better soon. Thanks. Um, so I do think we are just going to get some leftovers from the fridge. Oh, missing toy. Um, Play with a different toy. We are going to get some leftovers for breakfast today. Okay, Daisy made some, like, cookies for the family today. You know, I think she's kind of getting the sense that, like, you know, everyone is kind of a little sad. So she wanted to do something a little sweet. And I am going to have Penelope kind of talk to her mom a bit more. Kind of just, like, talk about what she's into and confess about her crush. Oh, my gosh. Have some girl talk because I feel like Penelope has been in her own world recently, which I feel like... She feels like she hasn't been as close to her mom, so she just wants to, you know, talk to her mom about, like, girl stuff that she hasn't been able to. Oh, we're telling a little secret. He's like, oh my gosh, they did what, Penelope? Oh, who's calling us? Hey, Daisy, I think, sure, go for it. And I think she's gonna slip into conversation and be like, Mom, like, I know it's like really soon and I don't want another cat now, but in the future, while I'm still here, do you think we can get another cat? Just because I feel like, you know, Clover's gonna be like pretty lonely because Clover's always had, you know, another cat to go with Clover. So, oh my gosh. Clover's like, I'm, I'm definitely eyeing your food, Jasper. Oh, and I think your dating privileges are definitely worth considering. That is definitely a new stance that Penelope has gotten from her mom. And I think she is going to reveal her orientation to her mom. You definitely trust her mom a lot. So Penelope is coming out for the first time. Hey, I've got something important to tell you. We're a family, and that means there shouldn't be a big secret between us. That means I should feel safe to tell you. Keep listening. So, I'm biromantic. And I'm bisexual. There, please say something. Congrats on coming out. I love you. It's okay. I've suspected it for a while. Oh, I feel like she's going to say, like, congrats on coming out. I love you. So she is now discreetly out, which I love. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you told me I support you. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. And oh, they're hugging it out. She's like, sweetie, like I will always love and support you no matter what. And 
they have a new sentiment, which is feeling appreciated, supportive of orientation. Oh my gosh. So I think we should also come out to our dad, obviously. As you know, there's no like secrets in our household, so they both are going to find out eventually. First, we're just going to, you know, congratulate him on his retirement, even though we probably told him like 10,000 times, congrats on retiring. All right, she's going to, you know, chat with her dad. And I feel like it's a good time because his life is coming to an end. So she wants her dad to like know her full truth and she doesn't want to have any regrets. Oh, she's like, wait, mom, I need to chat with you. Oh, and mom's like, uh, sorry, Daisy, I have to go out. Oh, my face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like, um, it's fine. Don't overreact. Wait, Daisy, talk to your dad. Oh, she's so nervous. She's like, dad, like, I have something to tell you. Oh my gosh. Hey, I've got something important to tell you. Okay, so this is the same. So keep listening. I'm biromantic and I'm bisexual. That's the whole truth. Oh, okay. So congrats on coming out. Love you. I feel like he's going to be like, it's okay. I've suspected it for a while. So I think he's going to say this. I've suspected it for a while. I'm glad you told me I support you. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. And they're hugging it out. She was so nervous. I'm so happy for her. Is she still? Yeah, so she's still discreetly out. I definitely think she's getting there. She's definitely embracing who she is, which I love. I support her. Okay, but she is a little hungry again. So I'm just going to have her get some more leftovers. I was going to say, also, why isn't Jasper and Lily in school? Like, I know we called out, but like, why weren't they in school? And I think that she is going to work a bit more on just like her programming and stuff like that. Maybe finish up her side job. I think she should be almost done with it. Oh, and he has a little like um, mod model module, um, a family member coming out. A family member of Logan just came out to Logan. Logan was so proud that they felt comfortable telling him and happy to show that he supports and accepts them no matter what. Oh, so cute. Oh, now she's going through a rebellious streak. Oh my gosh. Oh, principal's visit today. The principal is visiting Jasper's. Oh, ask the kid to stop. Uh, what's up, Penelope? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give you, can I give them your number? Oh, this is Daniel, who we went to prom with. So I think he kind of figured we don't have too much happening. So I'm going to say, okay. Who, who's the sim? I'm intrigued. <laughs> school is stupid. Oh my gosh, Lily. Society requires school for success. School teaches us important things. This is one of Penelope's longest side jobs that she has had to do. And I love that Jasper kind of comes downstairs to hang out with his big sis while he does homework and just keep her company while she works on her skills. Like, I think it's really cute. She's making some jokes with Jasper. Now that he got over Whiskers passing so much quicker than I expected, even Jasper is still pretty sad, but I think it's because he's a kid, so he doesn't really understand it as much. But so is like everyone else. Like Penelope, why aren't you sad? She got 500 simoleons. Thanks so much for a job well done. Hope the pay is sufficient. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty sufficient. And I just remembered she does actually have to enter a game tournament. So we are gonna enter her into another little tournament just so we can get that done for the week. This kid is so good. He's sitting over here doing extra credit work. He doesn't ask for much. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty out right now. This is so scenic, you guys. Penelope achieved third place. Oh, she definitely needs to improve her video game skill because she keeps getting third place, which 
is just so crazy to me because she's seven level seven of her video gaming skill why don't you have a little snowball fight with well your your siblings oh they're having a little fight oh my gosh lily is also going through a phase these girls the bloom family girls just are moody and i'm gonna have logan landon's here oh my gosh landon is here why is he scared but Logan will kind of talk to Landon, say like, thank you so much for like inviting my family and I out for dinner last night. It was really nice catching up with everyone. And he is also going to just make a party size of mac and cheese for dinner for everyone. Just a cute little cozy food for everyone to have tonight. I don't know why Penelope just keeps running from side to side. Oh, you knocked her out, dude. Oh. <gasps> no oh no you guys logan lockhart has lived a long life but this time has finally come logan is dying of old age stop daisy is literally right over there taking a nap we literally lost whiskers in this episode not him too oh my gosh his brother came in oh my gosh his brother is ignoring it guys 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 oh no they realized daisy i don't think now is the time to be sniffing how bad you smell oh oh no no penelope don't come inside oh gosh penelope came inside i was trying to avoid it okay we have to report his death Oh, Penelope's like, what? Like, no. Okay, you guys better stay in here while this is happening. That was good aim. He was just trying to make mac and cheese for his family. That was all he was trying to do. Oh, Jasper, Lily, get out of here. Oh my god, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have a... I have those, um, oh my gosh, she has so many plants. I have the flower thing, death flower. How can I use it to save him? Can I not do it because I have this mod? Oh my gosh, I've been like harvesting all of them to so I could save someone when this happens because I've read that you could do that. I don't even think I can. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Every sim deserves a proper funeral. Yes. Lexa sim who will have the who will have the responsibility to plan and host. Okay, this will be Daisy. Okay, that's it for now. I'll have to take the body for further investigation and for the post mortem treatment. I'll call you in a couple days with the result. In the meantime, I'll ha leave you to grieve. Leave you to your grief. You have my deepest condolences. Because of the recent death of a loved one, your sims can now request a bravement leave from their school slash workplace. Okay. How do I? I definitely want... Okay, Daisy's going to request um, bravement leave, which has gained five days worth of extra part-time off from her work. Okay. And I definitely think this was very traumatic for the kids. So I definitely think they will also be taking. Wait, I need to request. But I definitely think it has been stressful. So they all will be taking these brave mint leaves. Okay, everyone has gotten the leave except for Penelope. I don't know what's happening. Okay, she's now requesting for the leave as well. Guys, this episode was so sad. Oh, well, someone finished cooking Logan's... Lily finished cooking the mac and cheese that Logan had started for the family. Okay, I am going to wrap up this episode of the Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge. So I hope that you guys did enjoy it. Honestly, this episode really broke my heart, but I hope that you guys did enjoy it this episode. If you guys did, make sure... Hit make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.